What's up guys, my name is Nightcronic Yosero and this is Destiny 2 video and today we're going to be talking about the Zer's location for March 15, 2019. If you did not know, this is his regular location on the, I was going to say planet, the celestial body known as Titan, just to avoid... I think it's a moon. Uh, all you have to do, go over to the rig, make your way over here into the section here, and he is in this little hut right here. It should be pretty obvious. There's usually a lot of people crowded around here. Now, today is the first day he has something very, very special. Now, the last week, I believe, was the first time he started selling Forsaken items. You can see here again, we have another Forsaken item, a very good Forsaken item, by the way. But today is the first day he's going to be offering the Zer bounty. So, these are going to be the invitations of the Nine. Now, we haven't seen exactly what these things offer. We do know that they are nine legends legendary shards to get them and it seems like it is a basic set of things to do now i don't know if there's like a long line of quest steps like after you finish this is going to be the next step or if this is all there is and the award is awarded after this all i know is that this is what it is right now you have to do getting probably just kill nine of each one of these guys types and then do the strike um, I don't know what happens after that. I'm looking forward to seeing what happens after that. But apparently every single week he'll have a different quest for you. So you have to go to the Zer every week and actually see uh, what he has for you. So I'm going to go ahead and pick that up. Um, and again, I really don't know what it leads to. But of course you can check out online to see what people are going for. Anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and talk about his inventory. First off, he has the Crimson Hand Cannon, a three burst hand cannon. It's actually a really nice weapon. Um, it is a three burst uh, which makes it a little bit easier to use at closer range if you're not the best at hitting your hand cannon shots like uh, like well like for example me uh, on top of that kills with the weapon heal the, the user and precision kills also refill the magazine making it very nice to stay alive in pve as well as pvp definitely a weapon that is a bit underrated these days not very many people are using it but it is something that's really nice and on top of that the catalyst for this weapon i forgot that it has a, a bunch of different ornaments but the catalyst for this weapon actually maxes out its range you can see its range right here the catalyst basically puts it at like 90 95 which makes it nearly maximum range for any hand cannon and it's very very powerful however there's a lot of other weapons like luna not forgotten that kind of push this one uh to the wayside but uh, moving on to the next one orpheus rigs uh probably the best uh, hunter exotic for the uh, tether class because of the fact that uh, basically every guy that you tether with the tether you get super energy back and you can basically get infinite supers as long as you're tethering big groups of enemies this is absolutely necessary for so so many parts of destiny 2 if you do not have one you should definitely pick this up on top of the fact that this is a very good roll the leg rolls are always a nice roll you know you have things like hand cannon dexterity you've got outrage you've got special ammo finder something that's very nice for pve uh in general and on top of that i think it has an ornament which i don't really like but it's there if you want it uh, moving on to the next one, the Titans, the Warm God Crest. You got this one from requires Titan class. You got this one from the end of the Warmind campaign. If you finish it with your Titan, uh, melee kills increase melee damage for a short period of time. Additional kills extend duration and increase the effects. So if you keep punching, you keep getting bonuses. I could see this being kind of useful because you know you could use it with things like um, the mini fist, or you can use it with shoulder charge. But insurmountable skull fortage is better for that because you get it back immediately, and that's really something that's really nice again the rolls are always nice for the arms you got this for pve you got these for pvp and pve um and you get also you know grenade back for melee attack very good synergy for it uh, but just not really good enough because there's a better one in some battle skull for it and sento set which is also really nice for super damage so there's just better exotics uh to fill that function and then lastly the only forsaken item this week is going to be chromatic fire a thing that actually i've been chasing for a really long time until a few months ago uh, basically, precision kills with your kinetic weapon create an explosion in the element of your equipped subclass. So basically, it's Dragonfly built in automatically on your kinetic weapon. Now, if you use are using Ace of Spade, which is the only kinetic hand cannon with Dragonfly, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's the only one with Dragonfly. Uh, you can actually get a double explosion. So if you use this chest piece, I would highly recommend using it with Ace of Spades because you get double Dragonfly Firefly explosions and they're a lot of fun to see. In PvP, you can accidentally get double kills with this thing because you get the double explosion and it's actually a lot of fun to use. Outside of that, the roll unflinching kinetic aim works really well. Good synergy with what it has. And then lastly, you have the special ammo on kill, which is really good uh, for, again, the best roll you can have on a chess piece for uh, PvE and all that stuff. For PvP, it, it doesn't really matter. Third column is never PvP. It doesn't matter. Um, but that last special ammo, ooh, 
really good. And that's pretty much it. Again, of course, if you don't have Five of Swords, make sure you pick it up. You can make it so you have easier Nightfalls and high scoring Nightfalls for the bonuses. And then a Faded Engram, which guarantees you an exotic that you have not gotten before. It used to be where it's you get any exotic that you have from before Forsaken, but seeing as that they have Forsaken items available, this might actually contain Forsaken items. I do not know because I have all Forsaken items, so me using it really wouldn't benefit anybody to see. But please let me know in the comments down below if this Faded Engram now contains Forsaken items because it may actually do that because the forsaken items are now being sold but uh it used to be where anything from before forsaken can appear here as long as you don't have it but that's it that's the video for you guys today that is the zerg for you guys today let me know what you guys think of the zerg's inventory if you have any questions of course let me know what you think of tier 3 almost said blind well tier 3 reckoning which came out today if you did not know if you go to the gamut thing which i'll quickly just go to um i hopefully clicked on the right one I did actually click on the right one. You actually have the option of going into tier three right now. So if you are around a 690 level or above, uh, I would recommend you go out and try some tier three. Now I've done a couple of tier twos, a bunch of tier ones. I have never tried tier three. It just came out today, just as the reset of the Zerg. So if you wanted to try that, go check it out. It is heavyweight nutrition, which heavyweight's really nice. Um, but that's it. That's that's the video for guys today. Hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye!